It was literally just like flaking off. When an Asian relative tells you that you're pale, that is a compliment. Gosh, that's well. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I will be reviewing a skincare line from one of my favorite Korean skincare brands, Sum By Me. And it is the Yuja Niacin 30 Days Brightening Starter Kit and the Mineral 100 Brightening Sun Cream. So a couple months back, YesStyle.com actually sent me these products to try and so I'm going to be trying them for the first time and letting you guys know what I think. Looking on the website right now, the 30 Day Brightening Starter Kit is supposed to be a travel sized set of some of Sun By Me's flagship Yuja Niacin products which includes a toner, a serum, gel cream, and a sleeping mask to help lighten dark spots and brighten up dull skin tone. So I just want to give a quick disclaimer that I am not in any way a beauty or skincare professional, and so what works for me may not work for you. I suggest that before purchasing any products, if you have any skincare or um, specific irritant sensitivities, then you should always do your research beforehand before purchasing a product. Step one is the brightening toner, which contains 90% yuja extract and 5% niacinamide. It is meant for blemish care and is a low pH toner. Step two is the Blemish Care Serum, which contains 82.3% yuja extract and 5% niacinamide. Step three is the Brightening Moisture Gel Cream which contains 90% yuja extract and 5% niacinamide. It is meant for blemish care and for skin brightening. Step four is the brightening sleeping mask, which contains 70% yuja extract and 5% niacinamide. It is meant as an all night intensive brightening skincare. A very important step in achieving and maintaining good skin is using sunscreen, as all of the products in this line are high in vitamin C, which can make the skin more sensitive to the sun. Sunscreen is a crucial final step during the daytime application. Therefore, the last product I will be reviewing is the Yuja Niacin Mineral 100 Brightening Sun Cream. This is a sunscreen formulated with extracts from Yuja, Lotus, and 14 different kinds of vitamins to also effectively brighten uneven skin tone leaving a healthy and dewy looking glow. Here is a close-up of my skin on day one. I wouldn't say that I have horrible skin, but you can clearly see a lot of unevenness in texture and skin tone. I also have acne scars on my left cheek and a couple of small pimples on my forehead and cheeks. It's been about a week since I started using the products and also, Sorry about the location change, I moved in with my sister and my brother-in-law, so I'm in a different house with different lighting, apologize for that. This kind of little mark here that's been here for so long, I've had this like dark pigmented scar from a pimple like so long ago and it's always stayed with me, but it clearly has faded like quite a lot and it's only one week in, so I'm Hopeful that um, this scar will fade even more after the 30 days, but um, I also see a lot of fading in um, the hyperpigmentation on this side of my face as well. And I also had um, three pimples here, which are now gone. I am very, very, very pleasantly surprised. So yeah, I'll check back in with you guys in a few more days. Hello, it is day 17 or 16, about halfway through, and I'm about to go to sleep, but I'm doing a quick check-in with you guys. So, they are not kidding when they say brightening, okay? Because I definitely feel like 
my skin has gotten so much brighter and so much paler. Um, I met my mom for the first time in like a week. And the first thing that she said to me today was that I got so pale. And if you're Asian like me, you'll know that um, when an Asian relative tells you that you're pale, that is a compliment. So yeah, like that's literally the first thing my mom said to me. And also keep in mind that this is not just because I've been staying inside the house this whole time, like during quarantine, no. I've been going out on like 30 minute walks like every single day. This patch kind of over here has faded a little bit more, maybe, maybe or it's just my imagination, but I feel like it's faded a little bit. Still have a couple of small like pimples on my forehead. And um, yeah, I feel like overall my skin has gotten a lot brighter, definitely very drying. Um, a lot of the times I would notice like parts of my face, especially like a couple af a couple hours after um, washing my face in the morning and doing everything in the morning, around the afternoon, my skin would feel like so dry to the point where it would like flake. There would be little white flakes of skin coming off of my skin around this area and around my chin and around here. And a lot of the times I've ended up like putting on an extra layer of moisturizer just to like make my skin a little less dry. But other than that, I think it's doing what it's claiming, so. Uh, it is officially day 30 today. I have officially used up um, all of the essence and the serum. I used this one up around day 22. This one I used up around 28-ish, day 28. This is um, the condition of my skin on day 30. If you guys remember, um, I had this kind of you see this little it's still there a little bit but it's like this dark spot it was an acne scar from a long 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 time ago that i had and it actually faded quite a lot i definitely notice a really drastic change in the brightness of my skin if you have um dry skin i would not recommend this unless you uh apply a really really um thick moisturizer on top of everything. That is probably the one thing that I absolutely hated about this product, but other than that, the results, um, it did what it was supposed to do. It did what it claimed. Um, it brightened my skin. It um, helped me with hyperpigmentation. It helped me with dark spots. The amount of dryness that um, those products gave me in addition to this sunscreen because this sunscreen is not actually that moisturizing either it's pretty dry as well i'm sure if you're using this just on top of like a regular skincare routine um without like making your skin very dry it'll be fine 100 percent has a white cast i'll um insert a picture of how drastic that white cast is So make sure that when you apply this, you also apply it down your neck because it is going to make your face look so white. Good sunscreen if you like uh, a thicker consistency sunscreen and something that doesn't leave your skin very sticky and um, you're okay with having that slight white cast on your skin. And that concludes the 30-day review of the Eugen Niacin Brightening... I forgot what the K 
kit was hot. Thank you so much for watching and thank you to YesStyle for sending me these products to try. If you are interested in purchasing any of these products, um, please go to YesStyle.com and use my code Lily945 to get an additional discount off of your purchase. I will leave all the product links in the description box down below and that is it.